Good afternoon, YouTube. Home Theater Joe here. And I'm doing some work with the display today, so I thought it would be a good time to get in some things like the recent firmware update, which, just to touch on real quick, has been kind to my panel. A lot better than 3.23.23. Um, as I said before, um, McKenna had mentioned that she felt like there was more depth in the image. Um, which I immediately, you know, I agreed and there's, there's been some, some comments about it. So I don't think we're the only ones that noticed it. Um, but I, I was happy to report that it had been kind to my panel and very comfortable, um, letting people know that if they wanted to download it, they could. Um, so of course, with all that going on, like I said, there's been a lot of work with the panel lately. So <clears throat> let me do a quick update with my, I guess what we call it, the service menu debacle, maybe? Is that what we're going to call it? So I had a question, question answered recently, and that question was about the hard cycle reset. Now, as you can see, the display is at 3034 hours so we did hit that 1000 hour mark and as far as i can tell no hard recycle and i'll show you uh, my evidence for that in just a second so maybe now we need to wait for the 2000 hour mark and hopefully we'll get a hard cycle refresh now what do i speak about that Boom, there you go. The bad, bad red letters are still there. So, either the TV did not perform a hard cycle refresh after 1,000 hours of service, and it's going to take 2,000 hours of service, or the TV did perform a hard cycle refresh, and it did nothing for the adjust white balance error. I also was able to speak with a very knowledgeable uh, a great YouTuber, I think, um, Ninjakin AV. Um, I may reference him in the future. Uh, so I'm just going to call him NAV. But uh, this guy knows more about calibrating LG OLEDs, or he's forgotten more about that than I'll ever know. Um, great display calibrator or calibrator in general all around. But, and the guy has been very helpful answered all of my questions man he's been awesome and he confirmed what i suspected with this uh white balance adjust white balance error message um he did say that it was basically going to be up to uh the calibrator um, if i have a display problem and then decide to have it serviced if he shows up in a good mood and doesn't mind seeing that then we're all good but if he comes here and whatever reason he's not having a good day and he's a little pissy and doesn't like what he sees, then he's just going to say no. So, um, not sure what the answer is. The answer is not quite clear yet. Hopefully that hard cycle will, will hit after 2000 hours, 2000 hours, which would put us at 4,000 with the panel and maybe it'll go away then. All right. So, um, I think this is good to segue into my work. What I want to do with Calman Home for LG. Um, <clears throat> first of all, let me say this, that, you know, I'm going to make mistakes, you know. I'm the guy that puts out a video upside down, uh, you know. I'm just a dude, disguised as a dude. Well, whatever, you know what I mean. Uh, anyway, you know, damn, that was a funny movie. Now I'm just thinking about Tropic Thunder. Uh... I have gone through this program so many times. And again, NAV has helped me out like so much that hopefully I can shortcut um, any of you out here. For example, I've now spent, I don't know how long just playing with the display since the new update. Uh, running patterns and sweeps, reading the numbers, which is ultimately pointless. And I, I'll get to that at a later date. But... Um, you know, I think I do have some valuable information. And in order to really get into how I prefer 
My preferred method of calibration for using um, Calman Home for LG, you do need a service remote. Um, for those of you who may not be familiar, this again, this here is our service remote. Um, you can pick it up on Amazon for a few dollars, eight, nine dollars, something like that. And it is needed to access the service menus. So, I'm getting ready to tell you some conflicting things. Keep in mind, I'm just a guy talking to my cell phone that puts out upside down videos. Let's go right here into the adjust menu. Now, when I begin, oh, you know what? We're actually going to take a step back. We're going back to the uh, in start menu. I want to make a clear point about this. I don't want anybody out here to end up with that red error message. So if you choose to go the route of the service remote and purchase a service remote and choose to do things the way I choose to do them, I think it's really important, it's imperative that you go into every single menu you're going to be in and work in and you take pictures of that menu. Um, you want to have a reference point. Okay, you want to be able to go back and say, well, this was set at four, six, eight, you know, 2000 or whatever. You know, this was off as opposed to on. I'm going to implore you to take pictures of all of these menus that you're working in. And if you don't need to be messing with something or you're, you're unsure of it, just don't do it. All right, now that we have that out of the way, and I'm perfectly clear about this. Again, I don't want anybody ending up with this error message. Um, I'm going to talk about my preferred way, my preferred method for just a little bit before I actually do or make the video on it. Now, I'm going to go in here, this white balance, and I'm going to point out some things. <clears throat> right here, we can see we're on cool. And these are our red, green, and blue values right here, 192, 172, 172. Now, this is default, right? Well, I think it's default because I, like a dummy, hit the reset button down here. I figured, you know, eh, I know they tell you not to hit it, but you know, what could happen? Well, the error message is what happens. Now, one more time, do not hit your reset button. Do not hit this. Ever, 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 ever. Okay, you, unless you want to deal with the red error message like I got. Does my panel still work? Does it still look gorgeous? Yes, it does. Take it for what it's worth. All right, now, we'll go over here down to medium. Now, you're going to see this change 192 all the way down. Now, that's full dynamic range for red, green, and blue. Full dynamic range. Boom. All right, here we go. Warm. 192, 176. Now, I don't recall what these numbers were when I reset it because I have since calibrated the, the RGB balance here with a white-only pattern. All right, and I only do this in warm. Um, there are other techniques wh where you can, say, take this value and copy it to medium and cool, which I myself don't do because I want to maintain the different temperatures. My cool temperatures are something for like during the day when I'm fighting light coming in. Um, that's more like my cool Okay, my mediums, video games, boom, all day long. Full dynamic range, medium, warm one, that's where it's at. My warm, this is viewing at, in the evening time, which is basically accuracy for movie viewing, whether it be SDR or HDR content, Dolby Vision content. So I think it's very important to be able to work with this menu, but I think it's very dangerous and again, you need pictures of these menus. You need to know what these original values are. And you need not ever hit the reset button. All right, so um, that's really about what I want to cover right here. And once again, thank you, NAV. Uh, appreciate you, brother. Um, I guess what else can I say? I'm going to, as I said, make this uh, tutorial... And hopefully it's only a 10, 15 minute spot. I previously made a calibration video that was over 40 minutes long. This was weeks ago. 
And when I went to upload it to YouTube, it never got through the processing. So I was a little hesitant to do that because it was such a long video. But listen, with the help of um, AVS Forms, uh, Connect Ted, guys like, you know, NAV, um, you know, uh, Classy Tech, you know, um, I'm sorry, Classy Tech, Keep It Classy um, Tech, you know, Cecil. You know, with a, a lot of these guys that are calibrators helping me out, I've kind of streamlined this uh, Calvin Home for LG thing. So would really, would really like to put that out there and just show how I do it. So, you know, now I don't have to spend hours and hours in front of my display or my laptop to, you know, to get the result that I want to get at the end of the day because there's a lot of things to talk about when it comes to Calman Home and what it's doing and bugs and what just a lot to lot to go into there so as always i want to say thank you for listening be wait a minute <laughs> before i get there i also want to encourage you guys to comment or question below if you have anything that you want to say or any questions you have oh uh, one other thing i also talk um uh, you know i'm i'm very enthusiastic about my home theater hobby, and I'm also very enthusiastic about MMA. I've loved it my entire life, and I've been putting out some stuff on MMA recently, just to, you know, just my own personal thoughts on it. And I would really appreciate it if my, you know, LGCX guys would check those videos out, man. Um, yeah, it's a different pace, uh, right? But uh, anyway, maybe maybe you would enjoy that. Hopefully. Okay, now here we are at the end. As always, thank you for listening. Be good. Be safe. Boom! Boom.